Beth? <laughs> oh, she ain't here crying. <laughs> Beth? <laughs> calling my phone this time of night. Who is it? It's me, Jeff. You were supposed to be at the camp hours ago. Oh, shit. Sorry, Jeff, I overslept again. I knew it. Todd, did you hear that? Pay up my 20 bucks. I won the bet. You bet that I would oversleep? Relax, you get 50%. By the way, since I knew this would happen, I told Tyler an hour ago to pick you up at the bus stop. You know, the one near your house? Well, thanks, Jeff. I better grab my stuff and not keep Tyler waiting. Hey, Todd, hand over that 20 bucks. Look, if y'all betting $20 on me going to sleep, hey, y'all gonna win that money every time because I need my nap. <laughs> I need my nap before I go anywhere. Yo, what? Bro, what is with these games starting in like a back alley, bro? Like, am I homeless or something? Was I taking a nap on this, on this freaking mattress? Holy crap. Like, where did I just come from? Was that my apartment over there? Hopefully. <laughs> oh no. Am I about to get jump scared already, dog? Go slow around these corners because I don't know what's waiting on me over here. Okay. Alright, so far so good. Anybody hiding any trash cans? Alright, nope, we're good. Like, who is really walking through dark alleyways this time of night? Certainly not I. Think I'm supposed to be at the bus stop, actually? Is it this? This looks like a bus stop down here, right? Yeah, okay. Let's chill out here. I'm all by my lonesome. I already don't like this situation. I can get snatched up immediately. Hide your kids, hide your wife. Newspaper vending box. Okay, can I pick up the newspaper? All right, let's chill on the bus stop and wait for Jeff or Todd, whoever said they was coming to pick me up. Oh, here, newspaper. The police are investigating the disappearance of three young women in the last seven days. Three women aged between 20 and 24 have gone missing this week. A resident in the area claims that on the night of one of the disappearances, he spotted a strange individual lurking around the vicinity of one of their homes. However, due to poor lighting in the area, he could not make a positive identification. The city is bewildered by the, these events. The authorities have advised residents to avoid going out after dark. Secure doors and windows and report any suspicious activity to the emergency hotline. That's great that y'all tell me this after I done already left the house. Y'all know dang well I'm about to get got. <laughs> y'all know dang well I'm about to get got. Okay. Let's go. Oh! <sighs> Yo. Bro, who is this and why are you in my face like this, dog? What are you doing here alone? Buses ain't running this late. Could you get out my face? Hmm. Has no one taught you not to reproach people like that? Yo, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, if you don't get your ass up on my face, are you waiting for someone? It's none of your business. I'm waiting for you, girl. Whoa! On second thought, I think I've already found her. What are you talking about? I love walking at night. The silence, the city changes completely. Dude, you're nuts. But, but, hey, put some pants on, homeboy. Oh, he bow legged too? <laughs> no, nah, dog. Hey, let, let me get up out of here, bro. Can I stand up? 
There's no time to read with that creepy guy hanging around. Okay, so what are we gonna do? Are we gonna get up or no? Whoa! Hey, homeboy, what you gonna do with that? No, nah, no, nah, hey, we gotta get... Why am I still sitting here? He just... <laughs> why he just run off like that? Yo, hey, this better be Jeff or Todd, whoever's supposed to be coming to pick me up. I really just sat there the whole time while he just freaking stalked me. Tyler. Hey, Maya, who was that guy? I don't know, but he gave me the creeps. There's some really real weird people around here. Come on, get in. Yo, Tyler. You should have came about five minutes ago because I almost got got. And here we are, one more year. What's the plan? We gotta finish decorating the place with the Halloween stuff and get some of the games ready for tomorrow. But don't worry, there's plenty of time to get everything sorted. Go drop your stuff off at the cabin and meet us in the dining hall. All right, let's do it. Oh man, I love summer camps. Yo, we out in the wilderness for real. Where's the dining hall? Ah, here we go. Is this me? Hey, we lit. I think this might be me. Place back. Okay. Yeah, this is my crib. This is my crib. I like that. I mean, a little cabin. I mean, a screwdriver. Got some bottles. Nothing too fancy. I got me a bunk bed. Oh, we about to go crazy. And I got me a phone. All right. Meet with the others. Let's do it. Where y'all at? Hey, this what a party at. What's good, y'all? What y'all in here listening to? Y'all don't know what dance moves these is, but I'm going to teach y'all how to Dougie a little bit later. What's up, y'all? How y'all doing? Beth, you finally arrived. Come on, I have something to show you. Come on, Beth. What you trying to go show me? Damn, Beth got a hot top fade. What the hell? She got that kid and play going on. Beth, you sure you just gonna just gonna take me out of there? I ain't even get to talk to everybody else. Where we going? Beth. Beth, why your shape up like that? Beth, you straight? Just follow her. Alright, Beth, what are we doing here? How's life in your new city? Did you get a job you wanted? Yeah, though it turned out to be crap, like every job I've had so far. Sometimes I think I should have stayed in the town and continued with the family business. Maya working at her parents' bar for her whole life? No way. You've always been a rebel, but always the smartest among us. You just have to keep trying. You'll get what you're looking for in the end. You think so? I'm sure. What do you think? Wow, is this what you had to show me? Hey, what you? Yep, I'm wearing it tonight. For who? Jeff? You're dating Jeff? Shh, the others don't know yet. I don't want us to be the subject of their jokes tonight. Wow, just wow. Since when? Not long, just a week. Despite being a joker and seeming like a jerk at times, he's a romantic. Maya Beth, let's all gather by the fire. Join us. Ready for our annual horror story session? I guess so. Let's go. Oh, we about to go tell some horror stories? Yo, Beth got a little lingerie for Jeff tonight? Yo, that's crazy. They started dating. I didn't even think they like each other. She's trying to get free nasty tonight. <laughs> What's good, y'all? You got some s'mores? Shoot. All right, everyone's here. I'm sure you've all heard about the counselor who lost his life in this very camp 20 years ago. His name was Derek. It all started as a prank by the other counselors on a night like this, also during the preparation for the Halloween party. The counselors thought it would be fun to play a prank on Derek, but first they had to spook him. So they all gathered by the fire to tell a horror story, just like what we're doing right now. One of the counselors told the story of the pumpkin killer. Hell no, we got wolves out here? The pumpkin killer? Yeah, it's an old legend. My grandma told me about it when I was a kid, many years ago in the town. 
They found a witch and buried her alive. But before she died, the witch said that every year at midnight, right at the beginning of October 31st, her spirit will return to seek revenge on the every year. It's said that the curse brings back a serial killer who can't be hurt or killed. His head is covered by a pumpkin and no one ever has ever seen his face. After finishing the story, one of the girls started screaming, pointing to the trees, and there he was, the pumpkin killer, holding a bloody axe. Everyone started screaming and running, but the killer was only after Derek, who ran to his cabin and locked himself in. One of the counselors cut the power, and then everyone surrounded the cabin, banging on the walls. Leave me alone, I haven't done anything, Derek shouted from inside the cabin. You should also hear him crying, and everyone fell silent. After a few seconds, Derek's friends started laughing and shouting. It's a prank, Derek, you can come out. We're sorry. But Derek didn't, didn't answer or open the cabin door. Faced with the silence, the counselors started to worry, so they turned the power back on. One of the guys entered through one of the windows to find out what was happening. Derek was dead. The one who pretended to be the pumpkin killer was one of Derek's roommates. It seemed that while he was picking out the axe for the prank, he left the others lying on the ground. Due to panic and darkness, Darius tripped and fell headfirst onto the only axe whose edge was pointing upward. His friends found him in a pool of blood with his head split in half. Then, whoa! Damn, Tyler, that's not funny. It's hilarious. Ha ha ha. All right, enough of the stories. We need to get to work. Yo, who is hanging upside down right now? And why is you in my face, bro? My, there's still some decorations left to put out. Can you place some pumpkins at the entrance? I think there's still some in the lake cabin. Sure. All right, just go send me by myself. Look for the pumpkins and candles in the lakeside cabin. All right, where is the lakeside cabin? Don't y'all know that in slashers, you aren't supposed to be left alone like this? Okay, uh, lakeside, lakeside, where is the lake? Is there a separate cabin, like way out? Oh no. What the? Is that a person? Is that a person? Who's that? Oh, who? Oh, they getting bit. Oh, they kissing. Is that Beth and Jeff? Oh, they mooching? You two go get a room. You two should head to your cabin. Oh, sh we've been busted. Relax, Maya knows. What? You told her? Maya's a good friend. She won't say anything. It's a tomb. Come on, Jeff. You and I have something pending. Oh, yeah, Jeff. You got a little surprise when you get in that room. She's going to put on that little lingerie for you. Oh, Maya, could you do me a favor? What do you need? Jeff and I were supposed to go pick up the Halloween pinata and hang it on the gallows. Could you take care of it? I guess so. Where is it stored? In the workshop near the forbidden area. You mean the old workshop? Yes, they haven't started building the new one yet. Weren't they supposed to construct it this summer? That was the plan initially, but the guys couldn't gather enough money. Oh, I see. I'll handle the pinata once I'm done placing the pumpkins. You know what? <clears throat> am I like the do boy or something? Like, why am I the one that has to go do everything? All right, I'll take this. I don't know if I need a box with candles. Yeah, I probably should take those actually. All right, where am I going? Place the pumpkins at the entrance. The entrance to what? Anybody out here, is it? Keep my booty hole tight. I don't play them type of games. Oh, what's good, Playboy? How you doing? I'm glad you're with us again this year. Okay, that's all you have to say to me? Okay, maybe this isn't the entrance. Okay, over here is the entrance. Got it. All right, so who's the mass killer that's going to be coming to get us? Because we know that's what's going to happen. Let's not get too comfortable out here. There you go. Now I need to find a lighter. Maybe Tyler has one. I'll ask him. Yeah, Tyler, uh, he probably been smoking some of that good, good. 
right, let's go over there and get his lighter. I know he got one. Hey, let me get some. You got a lighter for me? I left it with Todd. Go check inside. Okay, where's Todd? Todd, what you doing, buddy? Do you have Tyler's lighter? I need it to light some pumpkins. I left it on the tables, but return it when you're done. I still need it. All right, so usually in these kind of slasher games, if it's not an actual killer or somebody outside of the friend group that's coming to get us, then usually it's somebody in the friend group. Which one is actually crazy enough to try to murder us? I really don't know who. Maybe Tyler? Maybe he found out that Jeff and Beth got together? And he really had a thing for Beth? Who knows? Time to go get the pinata, but first I have to return Tyler's lighter. Here you go, playboy. Look for the workshop and pick up the pinata. Workshop in the forbidden place. Okay, obviously, I think the forbidden place will be somewhere away from the camp, somewhere creepy. Maybe down here? Uh oh. Anything good in here? Oh, no, it's dark in here. Really? That's what we doing? Give me this damn pinata, man. Time to go back and hang it on the gallows. All right. Bro. What is that in there? Is that a... Oh, it's a generator. Okay. Gotcha. Bro. These little jump scares. Oh my goodness. What are we gonna do, some type of ritual and bring the freaking pinata to life? Done, I think there's nothing more to do. I'll go see if they need help in the dining hall. All right. Y'all should be done by now. I'm ready to go to sleep. Or party, whichever one. What's good, my boy, how you doing? What, is, what you got? What you got there, Todd? Hey, Maya, grab a beer and join the party. Is this what you call a party? Where's Tyler? He said he was looking for you at the workshop. Thought you got lost. He'll be back when he sees you're not there. Uh-oh. Here we go. This is where it starts. What's wrong with the lights? Do you know if, they're, if the generator has fuel? What's wrong? I activated it this afternoon, but I forgot to check the fuel level. Great. At least we have the pumpkins. Yeah, pumpkins. What do we do now? Someone has to go to the generator. Here, take Tyler's lighter. What do you mean, take Tyler's lighter? Don't you plan on coming with me? Who, me? No way. I'm not going in the dark to the generator. And you want me to go? Are you not going to come with me? Yo, what is wrong with this dude? Where's the chivalry? Oh, come on. What's that smell? Oh, I know. I think you've crapped yourself. You should change your pants so you'll attract all the flies around here. Ah, look at me laughing. Bro, you lame as hell. Don't make me go by myself to the generator. Whoa! Luckily, I was ready for a jump scare. What are you doing, Tyler? I thought you got lost, went to look for you. What happened to the lights? Todd forgot to check the fuel level of the generator typical of him by the way where is he he stayed in the dining hall he's too scared to go to the generator in this darkness hopeless i'll go with you appreciate it thanks this is what a real man looks like where are jeff and beth busy <laughs> busy i think they're still with the decorations games for tomorrow and all that oh well i thought they were done Apparently not. There should be gas in the workshop. Go ahead and check the generator. I'll be there soon. What you mean you'll be there soon? Why are you leaving me? Oh, man. This is bad idea after bad idea. 
Yo, what is he doing in there? Hey, you straight, my boy? You good? I mean, I'm gonna leave him alone, but what you? Why are you in here standing, staring at the corner, bro? All right, I'm, I'm gonna let him go. Tyler might be up to something. I'm telling y'all. Y'all know I'm right. Tyler, can you hear me? Yeah, what's up? The generator, it's broken. What do you mean? Someone cut the cables. Are you sure? Maybe a rat chewed on them. The cuts are clean. It could have been, it couldn't have been a rat. Wait, I'm coming to see. Ah! Oh, Tyler, are you okay? Tyler? Crap, what's happening? Oh no. Oh no, somebody done got Tyler. Nah, I'm on to you, Tyler. You was the only one gone while the generator was being cut and the lights started flickering. Next thing you know, you trying to separate from me. Oh man, is he in here? Oh, is that a handprint? Tyler! Yo. Oh no. Tyler! Tyler? Oh crap. Oh crap, where'd he go? Uh, folding pole? What do I need a folding pole for? Did he take a tool? Where'd he go? Oh no. Oh no, what do I gotta do? Is that blood? Tyler, I hope this isn't one of your pranks or you're dead. I better go back to camp. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's run. Let's actually sprint back to camp. Strength in numbers, y'all. Strength in numbers. Somebody help me. Oh, crap. Did they hang another pinata? Wait. What do you mean, did they hang another one? Oh, wait. Oh, they did. That's a person. Who is it? Todd. Oh, no. Dang, who done got Todd? God, Todd, who could have done something like this? I have to find the others. Beth, Beth, where are you? Beth, oh no. Beth, which cabin? Was it this one? Beth, open the door. Beth, I'm coming, damn it. Oh, she put a lock on the door. Oh, y'all up in there getting freak nasty. Maya, what's going on? I'm busy. We need to call the police. Someone has murdered Todd and Tyler is missing. All right, Maya, I don't have time for jokes. It's not a joke. I'm telling you, Todd is dead. Someone killed him and hung him on that damn gallow. Fine, Maya, whatever you say. Now I have to get back inside and continue what I'm doing. She more worried about getting her freak on than she is a dead person hanging from a freaking gallow. Her homie, actually. Jeff, are you okay? Jeff, give me a second. What you in there doing to Jeff now? You got Jeff in a compromising position? Door chain, can I break it? I need something to cut that damn chain. Why don't she just open the door? What do you mean, something to cut the chain? Oh crap, I can't get in there. Oh, okay. Boat cutters hanging around his freaking neck. Damn it, Todd, I'm sorry. Yo, why can't Beth just open the door, bro? Is she really like trying to get her freak on that much? That she can't just open the door? Beth? Oh, she in here crying? Beth?
hanging out the window? Beth, you nasty, girl. You nasty. Oh, my gosh. Beth, we need to call the police. Jeff is dead. I know it. I'm sorry, but we need to tell someone or we'll be next. Beth, I need you to react. Fine, I'm sorry. Can you call the police? Who just opened the door? Oh, that was Beth? Okay. It's a screwdriver. I don't know if I need a screwdriver, but I'll take it. Can I take my backpack? It's time to go. Beth, hey, we got to get up out of here. I know you was in a uh, compromising position, or you put him in a compromising position because he looked a little crazy hanging out that window. But we got to get up out of here. Put some clothes on. Uh, do what you got to do. Let's go. Open. Oh, oh no. Oh no, we're stuck. Are we stuck? Oh, there's a bathroom. Something in here? No. Oh, the phone. There's a phone in here. I forgot. The phone isn't working. I think someone cut the line. What about the phone in your cabin? I don't think it's a good idea. Whoever is doing this must have destroyed all the phones. They don't want anyone leaving. What the hell do we do, Maya? I don't, look, I don't know. Y'all the ones that invited me here, okay? I just came here to have a good time. The cars, right? The damn cars. Where are the keys? I don't know. Tyler stored them somewhere that could be in his cabin. Are you sure? No, I'm not sure of anything. Okay, I'll go check. I'm coming with you. I'm not staying in here. Yeah, that's a good idea. We should probably go at the same time. Whoa! Damn! You bastard! You killed Kenny! <laughs> yo, yo, screwdriver, I'm taking that. I don't know what I just did. Why did I? Did I just jump out the window with a screwdriver? Oh, oh, this is red. This is red. Go in here. I need a ladder to reach the window. What ladder? Where's our ladder? Oh, crap. Oh, right here. Right here. Let me get that. Let's go, y'all. We out. Climb, climb. Where could Tyler have put the keys? Nothing. Oh, oh, no, not again. Nothing, nothing. Oh crap, oh crap. Did he hide the freaking keys? Did he hide? Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. In here, nothing here. It seems like he's gone. Where the hell are those damn keys? The keys are not in the cabin. Think, Maya, think. Maybe I can cross the lake with the other canoes. I think there are some houses on the other side. Maybe they can help me. Um, okay. What a great idea. Who am I, Indiana Jones? Why am I just jumping in canoes and jumping across rivers and whatnot? Hello? Should I go out the front or should I sneak out the back? Dang, homie is just leaking blood, bro. My bad, bro. I didn't even mean to take them things out your head. Yo, where is this? Am I the last one left? Oh my God, bro. I knew I shouldn't have came out here. Pretty sure it's not an old buddy from the bus stop. He looked like he didn't even own a car, so I don't even know how he would have got here. Whoa! Tyler, you're alive! Are you okay? Someone attacked me when I left the workshop, but I managed to escape. I think I have cuts all over my body. Where are the others? They're all dead, Beth, Jeff, and Todd. This is a nightmare. Where are the canoes? I don't know, I ran here to get on one and cross the lake, but they weren't here. I don't understand what's happening. Damn it, we have to find a way out of this place. The camp gate is locked, the keys are missing, phones don't work, and the canoes are gone. How are we supposed to get out of here? Swim across the lake? The lake is too big to swim across. We'd freeze and drown before making it to the other side. Exactly. We have no way to escape. We're both going to die. But there has to be some way. Of course. Why didn't I think of it before? The Forbidden Zone. What's there that can help us? Have you ever heard the story of the tunnel? What tunnel? What are you talking about? When I was a kid, my father told me that the children from the camp started disappearing, but later they'd reappear. 
This went on for several days. One day, a counselor secretly followed them and discovered the kids had found an old tunnel hidden in the ground. Apparently, the tunnel led to the other side of the road. And do you know how to get to the tunnel? I only know it's in the forbidden zone under one of the cabins, but I don't even know if the tunnel really exists. Maybe it was just a story. We don't seem to have many other options. We should go check if what you were told is true. Fine, let's go get on. I hope you know how to get there. I could barely find the workshop. Don't worry, I know the way, but stay close to me. You know what? I don't really know if I trust you, to be honest. Everything about this says you're the killer. But I'm gonna stay close. But I'm gonna keep my distance. But I'm gonna stay close. All right now, what you stopping for? Stay close. Check behind me. Come on. I would have hopped in that water, I'm telling you. I would have been swimming like Michael Phelps. I would have gotten to the other side. You hear me? Whoa! What was that? Hello? Is someone there? Shut up, idiot. What if it's the killer? He can hear us. The killer? He better. We'd better hurry. Let's go. Oh, you just gonna leave? You just gonna leave me? Damn it, Tyler! Damn, he took off! He should have been in the NFL combine the way he running. He running full flat. Bro, how he gonna say stay close to me and then absolutely, just absolutely leave me in the dust? Where did Tyler go? Tyler went to go put on that damn pumpkin mask. Cause I do not trust this at all. The well seems to have been unused for years. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Tyler? Crap. Bro, how he just gonna leave me like that? What kind of friend are you? Wait, here we go. 10, 7, 1969. Today marks one year since Jack's death. We all miss him and feel guilty, especially me. I'll never forget myself for suggesting that prank. Maybe I should have told the police instead of claiming it was an incident. Or it was an accident. I can't stop having nightmares since it happened. Sometimes I think I should have come back to this camp anymore. The longer I stay here, the worse the nightmares get. Tomorrow I'm going to suggest moving it near the lake. I'm sure the others will agree with me. Today I talked to the rest of the group about relocating the camp near the lake. Everyone thought it was a fantastic idea. So in September, we'll start preparing the ground and building the new cabins. This morning, my wife kept, came to visit and I got a pleasant surprise when I saw she brought Maya with her. They're going to stay around for a couple of days. I'm sure both of them will have a great time. This afternoon, Wade tried to blow his head off. Whoa, trigger warning. No one knew he brought a gun to camp. Spencer had been warning us for days that Wayne's behavior was strange, claiming he seemed depressed, so he's been keeping an eye on, an eye on him. This afternoon, he saw Wayne wander a bit away from camp and followed him without him noticing. When he got far enough, Wayne pulled out the revolver, and he was lucky Spencer followed him. Thanks to him, he's still alive. We all gathered to talk to him, to help him, but he needs more than our help. He also, He's also broken by Jack's death feeling almost as guilty as I do. A few minutes ago, the guys and I decided to close the camp and not reopen it until we moved it near the lake. I think it'll be good for all of us to leave this place for a while. I've stored the revolver in the safe in my cabin and notified the police to pick it up. I told them I left the combination written on a laminated card inside the well bucket. I don't think anyone would bother checking it. Mm, okay, it's in green, so that's what we gotta do. The combination is written on a laminated card inside the well bucket and the revolvers in the safe. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right. We got to find a weapon. Where's the well bucket? Anybody out here waiting on me? Is it? Where's that well? Where's that well? I need something to retrieve the bucket. Maybe it'll look like the one Todd used to hang the pumpkins. There might be one in the workshop. Look for the hook and okay, so I gotta go all the way back. I remember seeing those hooks back in the corner. 
gosh, this is so freaking creepy. I feel like Jason is lurking in the in the distance. Somebody was gonna be waiting on me, dog. Bro, this has to be Tyler, bro. It has to be. Like, who else could it be? Go, on. go. On. Ain't waiting on you. Ain't waiting on you. Oh yeah. He's behind me. Oh yeah, he behind me. Oh yeah, he bow legged too. He bow legged. Come on, run faster. Come on now. I ain't got no speed burst or nothing. Come on, get in here, get in here, get in here, get in here. Yep. Get the, get the, get the pole. Where'd he go? 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 Come on. Get the code. What is it? Oh, right here. Here we go. Cabin key. It looks like the key to one of the cabins. And the revolver. Oh, we're lit. We're lit. Okay. It's gotta be. Is it out here? Nope. It's gotta be this cabin that's lit up over here. Come on. We're in. Let's get it. Lock the door. Nope. Okay. No lock behind me. Uh oh. I don't like the way this looks. Note from Tyler. Today marks 20 years since your death. I've been living all this time with a strong hatred in my heart, but finally, the day has come to let it all out, to avenge those who took you away from me and mom. I knew that's what this was. I knew it. I do this to honor your memory and mom's. She took her own life shortly after you left. Now those who still survive will feel what I felt. When I snatched the lives of their children, their lives will be left in darkness just like mine was extinguished with love, Tyler. You'll always be in my heart. Oh! Hey, Maya, surprise. Uh, I see you're at a loss for words. Did you know it was your father who ended my father's life? Uh, no, I ain't, I ain't know that. I've been waiting for this day for years and it's finally here. They'll finally feel what I've felt all these years and my father can rest in peace. You're sick. I'm so sick that I'll chop you into pieces with this ax and send you home to your parents in a box. I'll love to see the looks on their faces when they see what's inside. You're insane. You're a damn psychopath. Am I the psychopath? Your father started all this. My mother took her own life after my father's death. I became an orphan and I'm a psychopath. You've murdered your friends. They weren't guilty of anything. Of course not. It's not personal against you guys, but against your parents. Whoa! Bop! 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 Oh! Oh, okay. I guess a, a shot to the head don't work, huh? All right. Let's do that again. Yo, do I gotta stay in this, like, this building? Like, can I run out? All right, let's do it. Skip all this. All right, let's do it. What's up? Bam! Ooh! Go! Go! Okay, create space. Create space. Circle them. Circle them. Bam! Oh! Damn! Y'all, I don't think I can get out of this room. Let's try again. This time, I'm gonna actually try to run out. He probably locked me in here, but we're gonna try to run out anyway. Oh, nope, that, that's not the door. Oh, that is the door. Okay, so we're gonna have to. All right, gotcha, gotcha. All right, let's do it. Bah! Okay, shot to the face. Shot to the face. All right. That's all right. We good. We good. Bah! Ooh. Yeah. Bah! Ooh. Okay, those are face shots, bro. What is this? A pellet gun? Bah! Let's go. Oh, 
Let's go. I'm like that. This part of the floor seems more fragile than the rest. Uh oh. What does that mean? Let me get this, my boy. You ain't gonna need that. Tunnel in. Oh, this is the tunnel? Okay. So I can get out, right? About to slide on out. Mmm. Yep, yeah, this don't. This don't look right to me. I ain't even gonna hold you. This ain't about to be that easy. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. I'm going right. I'm going right. Come on. We're good. We're good. We're good. All right. Oh. Okay. Okay. Got arrows. Which way? Which way? It's not where I came up. It's not where I just came up, is it? Hatch. Where do you think you're going? You won't be able to get out of here without the key I have in my pocket. Bye. Oh yeah, don't run now. Come on, keep coming back. I'm like that. Bro, how is he taking shots to the face and he's like really just coming back for more? Like, oh, where you at? Tyler. I'm not coming out this corner. You gotta come see me, homeboy. Oh, y'all, I think I'm... Dang it, man! All right. I gotta kill him. I gotta kill him. I gotta kill him. Oh, I hate these. I hate these. These always creep me out. Dark tunnels? Tyler! Where you at? Assuming he's gonna come behind me? Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. Now, nah, where you go? Yo, I'm on edge right now. I'm on edge right now. I'm not even gonna front, y'all. I'm on edge. Which way you coming? Yeah. yeah! Okay, okay. He liked to pop up behind you. Okay. Are we out? Please tell me we made it out. I must have been walking for about 10 minutes. Yeah, we, we, we didn't make it out. I'm gonna tell y'all that right now. If I've been walking for 10 minutes, and I can't move any faster than this, somebody's coming to get me, bro. Looks like a vehicle is coming. Don't trust it. Don't trust it. Oh, no. What if it's homeboy from the bus stop? Thank God, I need help. What's going on? Someone has murdered my friends. What? What are you talking about? Please, I need to speak to the police. Oh my God, come on, get in the car. No, I don't trust it. I don't trust it. There's an intersection up ahead. When you get there, turn right. And about five kilometers away, there's a police station. Don't worry, I know the area. Thank you. Oh yeah, you know the area, all right. Uh-huh. I'm watching you. Mr. I know the area. Oh, why is he so dark, bro? Why can I not see his face? It's got to be the dude from the bus stop. I just know it. <laughs> the dude from the beginning. Hey, 
I'm talking to you. Oh! Oh, I knew it was him! Damn, let me out! <laughs> no! Oh, I knew it! I got out of one situation right into another one. All right, guys, that is the end of Bloody Hollow Fest. Let me know in the comment section what you thought about the video. Of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new here. Leave a thumbs up and all that good stuff. And if you want more gameplay, check out this video right here. But only if you're brave enough. We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.